It's time for My Favorite Husband, starring Lucille Ball. Jello, everybody. <laughs> Yes, it's the new Gay Family series starring Lucille Ball with Richard Denning, brought to you by the Jell-O family of desserts. As we look in on the Coopers today, they're in the living room preparing to decorate their Christmas tree. George is snipping a twig here and one there to balance the tree, and Liz is just bringing in the ornaments. Here are the Christmas tree ornaments. Oh, George, you never know when to stop. <laughs> Look what you've done to that tree. Oh, I just want it to be symmetrical, that's all. I only cut a few twigs off the top. A few twigs. I'm up to my spine in pine. <laughs> Good heavens, is that the same tree we had a minute ago? Yes, George wants to be different. We'll have the only Christmas tree in town with a butch haircut. <laughs> There, all through. Yeah, all through is right. I can't decorate an evergreen buggy whip. <laughs> now you march right out and buy another tree. You're oh. snip happy. <laughs> oh, this one will do. What's the difference? It'll all be over in a couple of days anyhow. Oh, my sentimental husband. George, you just don't feel Christmas at all. No? What's that big pain in my pocketbook? <laughs> <laughs> Go on now, get a new tree. Tell you what, I'll buy you a tree on Monday. They'll be much cheaper then. Oh, how could I have married a man with no sentiment? I wonder if it's too late to have our marriage annulled. Yeah, you better not try it. I might not take you back again. <laughs> you might not take me back again. Ha! <laughs> that does it. Now I wouldn't marry you again if you were the last woman in the world. If I was the last woman in the world, I wouldn't have to get married. <laughs> Touche. Oh, don't worry, George. I'll keep you, you unromantic, dull, old, wonderful you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Too bad we didn't live in the old days. We could just jump in our sleigh and go caroling out into the woods after a Christmas tree. Ah, nobody ever did that. That's propaganda. It is not. I'll show you. Where's that Christmas card the Roni sent us? Uh, I'll take your word Here for it. Here it is. But... See the picture? A beautiful little country scene with people riding along in a sleigh and caroling. See? You know what that is? They're dragging in back of the sleigh? One of the carolers had too much eggnog? <laughs> no, that's a Yule log. Mm. That's what they did in those days. They were more full of spirit then. Mm. Especially, especially that guy they're dragging behind the sleigh. <laughs> oh, now stop it. George, let's get a sleigh and a bunch of people and go out and sing Christmas carols. Oh, be sensible, Liz. What are you going to do? Go down to Honest Chris Kringle's and buy a used sleigh? <laughs> well, why not? Maybe we could get one that was only pulled by an elderly reindeer from Pasadena. <laughs> <laughs> Go on now. Run along and get me a new tree. All right. Where's my coat? George, mm -hmm. here. I'll give you one last chance to prove you have a soul. Now, if I can get a sleigh someplace, will you go caroling with me? I think I can safely say yes. Okay, that's a challenge. I'll get one or my name isn't Gladys Cramhopper. Gladys Cramhopper, that isn't your name. I know, I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> Hello. Sam's livery stable? I'd like to rent a sleigh. Sleigh. S-L-A-Y. <laughs> E-Y? E-I-G-H! Are you kidding? Oh, you do? Well, how much is it? What do you mean, with or without reindeer? No, this is not Santa Claus. Goodbye. Oh, it's no use, Katie. Nobody in town rents slaves. Oh, too bad. Hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. <laughs> Have we got a cuckoo clock? <laughs> oh, it's Mr. Wood from next door. Oh, I'll let him in. Close the door. What's the matter? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Cooper, could I hide out in your house for a few minutes? Hide out? What's wrong, Mr. Wood? It's Christmas vacation, and my 11 children are with me 24 hours a day. <laughs> my house is like living in a... My, it's quiet in here. <laughs> well, 11 children must be quite a problem on Christmas. 
Tell me, do they all hang up their stockings? You wouldn't believe it. Stockings on the mantel, stockings on the chairs, stockings on the curtains. It looks like the washing machine exploded in the living room. <laughs> oh, I'll bet you love every minute of it. <laughs> well, I must admit it's nice on Christmas morning when we all gather in front of the tree. Mrs. Wood, myself, and the 11 children. I'll bet you can't see the tree for the woods. <laughs> You get it? See, your name is Wood, and then Mrs. I... Mrs. Cooper. What? That joke is one of my oldest friends. <laughs> if one of our children hasn't made up that joke by the time he's five, we throw him away. <laughs> Ooh. Well, I guess it's safe for me to go home now. The Battle of Santa Claus should be about over. Battle? Yes. Every year, the believers beat up on the non-believers. <laughs> of course, there are more believers, counting Mrs. Wood and myself. You believe in Santa Claus? Certainly. I don't know who's been filling my children with those lies about his not being real. Oh, well, you're just the man I want, Mr. Wood. Can you carol? Oh, like a lark. <laughs> Deck the halls with the boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Oh, Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Look, I, I just want. Don't we know our gay apparel? Fa la 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 la. Patrolling well, that, well, that's well, that's 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 I'm sorry, I got carried away. <laughs> Mr. Wood, uh, let me tell you my problem. I want to get a group together and go caroling. Oh, jolly. <laughs> but, but we haven't got a sleigh. Oh, well, let's see now. Where can we get... I know, I know there's one down at the antique store, and I know the owner, Joe Gundelfinger. Joe Gundelfinger? That's an odd name. You should have heard it before he changed it. <laughs> changed it? Yes, his name used to be Joe Gundelfoot. <laughs> Well, do you think that Mr. G uh, uh, Joe would uh, rent it to us or lend it to us? Well, I'm sure of it. He's a very good friend of mine. Come on, let's go down there. It's just a few blocks. Oh, George will be so surprised. Let's go. God rest you, merry gentlemen. <laughs> Mrs. Cooper, Gundelfinger's Antique Shop. Oh, and there's the sleigh. Gosh, it's an old rickety one. Well, he just keeps it in the front yard as sort of an ornament, but I think it'll work. Yeah, it will if we take the pots of ivy out of it. No. Well, let's go in and see if he'll let us have it. Oh, the store's closed. Oh, no, wait, there's a note on the door there. Uh, what oh, yeah. does it say? Closed Friday at court having my name changed again. <laughs> Signed, Joe Gundelfinger. P.S. Watch for grand opening of Smith's Antique Store. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. He had to pick today to change his name. Well, let's just borrow the sleigh. He won't mind. Well... Oh, uh, come on. Well, how will we get it home? Maybe he has some antique reindeer. I think we can drag it. Oh, gee, it looks too heavy. Oh, don't underestimate me, Miss Cooper. I'm a regular Samson. Huh. It... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the matter, Samson? Have your hair cut? <laughs> oh, here comes Mr. Negley. Maybe he can help you pull it. Little Mr. Negley or Mrs. Cooper, if Samson can't pull it, what help will Delilah be? <laughs> oh, Mr. Wood, you shouldn't talk like that. He can't help it if he's small. Good morning, Mrs. Cooper. <laughs> Good morning, Delilah. I mean, Mr. Negley. Good morning, Mr. Negley. Good morning, Mr. Wood. Mr. Negley, you're just in time. We're trying to get this sleigh home. Will you help us pull it? Oh, I'd like to, but I just couldn't. I've been delivering mail since 7 o'clock this morning. I'm plumb poop. <laughs> well, I guess you mailmen have to expect a lot of work at Christmas time. <laughs> Christmas? So that's what it is. <laughs> Mr. Negley, you're pulling my leg. Oh, Mrs. Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
I'm, I'm glad that this is the end of my route. You know, I have so much mail, I can't carry my bag. I put it on a sled and drag it around after me. Yeah, well, that makes sense. It's fun, too. When the mail's gone, I belly whop all the way home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty good at it, too. Well, I used to be the block champion. Oh, so did I. I can still beat all my 11 kids. I bet I can even beat both of you belly whopping. Well, you should. You got more to whop with than we have. <laughs> Mrs. Cooper. <laughs> Look, this isn't getting the sleigh home. We're going to have a sleighing party, Mr. Negley. Oh, uh, can you sing? Sing? Deck the halls with bows of holly. Fa la 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 la. Let's take him along anyway. <laughs> okay. Come on, help us pull this thing. Oh, say, I have a better idea. Let me run home and get my motorcycle. We can pull the sleigh with that. Oh, good. I'll sled home. That'll be faster. Okay. Mr. Cooper gets here. Oh, where is George, anyhow? Well, I'm all set. I've brought my blanket, my mittens, my earmuff, and a hot toddy bottle. You mean a hot water bottle? Just for that, you can't drink out of it. <laughs> I've got a thermos full of hot chocolate. Will you be warm enough, Turtle Dove? Oh, yes. I've got on my galoshes and an extra pair of longies. Oh, here comes George. Hi, George! Hey, what's going on? I told you I could get a sleigh. Come on, we're going caroling and bring home a Yule log. Oh, now, Liz. You promise. Come on, get in the sleigh. Hang on tight, everybody. All set, Mr. Negley? Contact. Here we go. Up, Donder. Down, Negley. Up, motor. Down, cycle. Hey, Mr. Negley, come back for us. You forgot to put the harness on it. And now, back to the Coopers. The sleigh proved too much of a load for Mr. Negley's motorcycle, and we find our old-fashioned carolers heeding that old-fashioned advice, get a horse. They're trudging down the street, horseward bound. It's only a couple of blocks further. Katie, are you sure the milkman will lend us his horse? He said he would on the phone. Oh, it's cold. Let's keep moving, huh? Yeah, my goosebumps are nudging each other to keep warm. <laughs> Gee, look in that window. Those people have a fire in the fireplace. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. Oh, I bet it's warm in there. Hey, I got a wonderful idea. We're supposed to be carolers. Well, let's serenade this house, and maybe they'll ask us in. Oh, okay. Good idea. Uh, what'll we sing? Well, how about jingle bells? Okay. Uh, give us the key. Huh? Give us the key. Oh, I don't bother with keys. I just sing. Here we go. One, two, jingle bells, well, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, oh, look, look, someone's coming to the window. Oh, carolers. Yes? Come a little closer to the window. Oh, come on, he wants to thank us. Well, mister, how did you like it? Oh, 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 we had to pick Scrooge's house. Oh. Are, are you enjoying your old-fashioned Christmas, Liz? Oh, shut up and help me chip this water off. Would you like some hot chocolate? I brought the thermos along. Oh, Katie, you're a lifesaver. Oh, the cork is stuck. Here, I'll hold the top. I don't know what you got so mad about it. Sounded pretty good to me. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun. Well, how do you like that? What? I had this thermos cup in my hand, and that man dropped a quarter in it. <laughs> this may be the start of a great new business. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun. Oh, what have we here? 
let me see your license. License? What for? Caroling? No, panhandling. Panhandling? <laughs> now, just a minute. We weren't panhandling. This cup is for hot chocolate. Sure, and you always sweeten it with a lump of money. <laughs> oh, that was just a coincidence. Yeah. Katie was trying to get the cork out, and I was just holding the cup out like this, and I... Merry Christmas, lady. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> Not panhandling, eh? I knew the minute I looked at you, you were a bunch of bums. Oh, yeah? Well, this bum here happens to be George Cooper. Now, now, let me handle this, Liz. Uh, officer, I'm George Cooper, vice president of the Sheridan Falls National Bank. What? Yeah, and these other bums are important people, too. Liz, please. Uh, we were just caroling, officer. Well, I don't know. I, oh, uh... oh, listen to that beautiful speaking voice. Huh? Oh, I'll bet you sing a wonderful bass. Oh, it's not so good. Oh, come on, give us the honor of singing one song with you. Well, I'm on duty, but... Uh, <clears throat> uh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle... Oh, go on and get out of here, and no more caroling. Oh, well, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yes? What is it? What's the matter? I, I, I'd like to report it a stolen vehicle, please. Yeah. Well, uh, wait till I get my book out and I'll take down all the details. Okay. Yeah, what's your name? Schmidt. No, no, no. Uh, no? No, m my name is Gundelfinger. Yeah, it wouldn't be Schmidt for a couple of weeks yet. <laughs> uh, why? Are you getting married? <laughs> No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just changing my name. It's still Gundelfinger. <laughs> uh, Gundelfinger. Yeah. Uh, G, you... You wouldn't like to come back in a couple of weeks and report this, would you? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I want to catch the chiefs right now. Okay. Uh, what was the license number? It didn't have a license number. It was just out in front of my shop with Ivy in it. <laughs> Ivy who? <laughs> Just ivy, little leaves and stems. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, what was the make? Uh, a flexible flyer. Huh? <laughs> yeah, was their big model. Oh, sedan, huh? No, 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 one horse open. <laughs> What kind of an automobile was this? It wasn't an automobile, it was a sleigh. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I gotta get it back. I need that sleigh for Christmas. Yes, of course. And when did you first notice it was missing, Mr. Claus? <laughs> no, 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 please, Gundelfinger. <laughs> no, you don't understand. It's an antique sleigh, and I got a customer who's gonna buy it for a Christmas present. He's going to make a lamp out of it. <laughs> yes, of course. I'll keep my eyes open. I'll look in back of every horse I see. <laughs> oh, thank you. Still enough, heilig enough. <laughs> Man to lend us his horse. Come on, let's sing again. One, two, three. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle, bell, jingle, bell, jingle all the way. Just oh, a minute, oh, let's oh, dispense oh. with all this singing. Hi, officer. Sheesh. <laughs> it's you again, them bums. <laughs> I see you got someone to sing in my place. Uh, no, let me guess. You just happened to hold out a cup and someone dropped a horse into it. <laughs> Officer, I know it looks bad. Now, you go home and stay there. I'm going to just charge this off to Christmas madness. First, some crackpot reports a stolen sleigh. Now I find you with a singing horse. A 
stolen sleigh? Uh, uh, who, who was it stolen from? You wouldn't believe the man's name if I told it to you. <laughs> now run along, and if I catch you out again, I'm going to run you in, understand? Oh, yes, and thank you. Merry Gundo... Uh, uh, happy... Uh, Merry Christmas, officer. Come on, everybody, let's go. <laughs> Oh, no. We're taking this sleigh back to Gindelfunger, a finger. <laughs> oh, George, let's take a little ride. Nothing doing. Just a little eensy-teensy one. You heard what the cop said. This is stolen property. Oh, but that cop's the only one who knows, and, and we'll be out of his district in a minute. We can take the sleigh back later. No. Well, let's take a bow. What do you three in the back seat say? Oh, I'd like to go for a long ride. I like holding your hand under the blanket, Katie. Why, Katie. I like holding your hand, too, Katie. Why, Katie. I don't know what either of you are talking about. Both my hands are in my pockets. <laughs> Let go of my hand, Mr. Negley. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Come on, horse. This is no time to stop. Get up. What's the matter with him? Stop! Stop that sleigh! Oh, look, look down at the corner. Here comes that cop. Let's oh. get out of here, Liz. Come on, horse. Get going. Oh, no. He stopped again. Get up. Darn it. This is no time to play games. Get up! Stop in the name of the law! Oh, well, that's better. Hey, this horse is a stool pigeon. He's turning us over to that cop. I'm afraid this is part of the milkman's route. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, fine. The horse is stopping at each house to deliver milk. Let's get out and run for it. <laughs> no, no, give me those reins, Liz. I'll get him off the route. And turn left at this corner. That'll do it. Okay. Stop or I'll shoot! Come on, horse. We're turning here. <laughs> oh, he won't turn. Now, come on, horse. We're going left. Left, you hear? Careful, George. He's breaking loose. <laughs> Stranded in the middle of an intersection with a hot sleigh. Hands up! Hands up, all of you! I got you covered! Hi, officer. <laughs> officer, we can explain. It all started because I wanted to go and get a Yule log. Save your breath. You're coming to the station. But it's Christmas time. I know, and I'm going to give you a little present. It's a cell, Mark. Do not open till after Christmas. <laughs> Look, officer, we were really on our way back to Gundelfinger's to return the sleigh. Yes, he's a very good friend of mine. Well, I'll go with you and be sure you do return it. And I'll give you exactly ten to get it out of this intersection. One. But we don't have a horse. How can we get it out? Two. That's your worry. Three. All right, fellas, get down there. What? Four. All of you, get down there and pull. I'll steer. Five. Oh, wait till I get you home, Liz. I'll take this shaft. Uh, would you and Negley take the other? Six. <laughs> Come on, boys. That's the old you. Seven. been listening to My Favorite Husband, starring Lucille Ball with Richard Denning, and based on characters created by Isabel Scott Rorick. Tonight's program was produced and directed by Jess Oppenheimer, who wrote the script with Madeline Pugh and Bob Carroll, Jr. Original music was composed by Marlon Skiles and conducted by Wilbur Hatch. The part of Katie, the maid, was played by Ruth Parrott. Listen to Lucille Ball in My Favorite Husband again next week. Bob Lamont speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.